morning, YouTube. Louie here with the best silver gold deals of Thursday, March 21st, 2024. Yeah, a little happy dance for silver yesterday as it flexed its muscles. Uh, we have got gold up $20 this morning at uh, 2,207. Must have been down overnight and then up in the morning because it was over 2,200 yesterday. Uh, silver down 13 cents, uh, now squarely in the 25s. If you were watching aftermarket, you saw lots of movement in gold and silver aftermarket uh, last night. And uh, here is where we settled. A pretty big divergence, though, between spot price and the ETF uh, SLV. Uh, we just had uh, continuing qu claims come out, jobless claims. And uh, no, no big surprise there. Manufacturing index was uh, a, l a little stronger, actually quite a bit stronger. So, uh, oh man, I don't know what to say about all that yesterday, but clearly uh, Powell um, delighted the markets by confirming there will be three rate cuts this year. Um, that he feels that uh, the top is in for rates and he's looking to ease. He claims the economy is in Goldilocks mode, but the question I would ask is um, if three rate cuts appear baked in and required, then he must think that the economy is actually weakening, and I think that's what he's expecting. That's why I was a little surprised to see the stock market blow, blow off. I uh, have a blow off top there. So uh, anyway, let's keep going and uh, be happy about the higher prices. <clears throat> unless you are buying. We've got the GSR at 86.08, um, which is uh, right about status quo right now, still downside to 82 and upside to 90. Um, here is the 10-year, which is what uh, you know the market signaled. They liked what Powell said. We started dropping. We opened uh, the sessions with a higher 10-year, and even after he spoke and then closed uh, with a much lower 10-year yield, all constructive for gold and helpful for silver. Uh, that also took the top off um, the U.S. dollar, actually uh, really cratered the U.S. dollar. Uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but we had a pretty big sell-off in the U.S. dollar. And uh, so uh, what everybody is thinking is lower rates and uh, perhaps a weaker dollar and uh, you know I would think a weaker economy but uh, we will have to see if that weaker economy transpires. Uh, if you're looking at copper uh, that's what I've been looking for uh, to help my my uh, predictions on silver and copper is still staying strong at four dollars and six cents this morning um, well over the four dollar mark and look at the move in copper down here from 3.61 to 406. That's about a 10% move in copper over about six months. Um, so uh, silver and commodities commodities are definitely catching a bid and uh, silver is benefiting from that squarely in the 25s. I'd say that's a fair price for silver whether you're buying or selling. Um, and I uh, hope it goes higher, but uh, you never know what could happen. Uh, I was looking at pennies yesterday, and I don't know if any of you buy these, but copper certainly on a run here, and uh, you can pick up 34 pounds of pennies for 152.66. Uh, you can pick up multiples of that um, as well. Uh, yeah, you'd have to get 10 times as much to drop the price. I believe the shipping on that is about $25. So what do you guys think about hoarding pennies, huh? I guess that would get pretty bulky over time. But uh, copper looks like it wants to run. I expect nickel uh, will run as well. And you know, you can pick up those $100 boxes of nickels for $100 at the bank. Uh, one of the best uh, buys on the market today, if you don't mind having, um, you know, pallets of nickels in your garage. But I digress. Let's get on to the deals. Well, a little frustrating this morning because everything is about the same except higher. So, uh, you know, I'll go through a couple of these, but I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, I don't know if people are buying this morning. Uh, we've got a one-tenth gold eagle, 249.09 at bold. Uh, let's go right to the one ounce gold eagle at uh, 2,271.70 2 
at Liberty uh, Buffalo at Liberty 2,286.08. Um, I don't recall any Costco deals at all yesterday, so we'll have to see uh, if they keep raising their prices. Or, you know, but th that will always be a better deal if you can get your four percent off. Uh, Krugerrand ought to be cheaper. Uh, Monument Metals 2,259.10 for a one ounce gold Krugerrand. And the commemoratives are more expensive. You still have the one gram gold at spot for new customers of Apmex. Uh, no real change on the uh, foreign silver, the rooster. Uh, still a decent price, 423.89. Uh, good alternative to um, that quarter ounce gold eagle. Uh, what else can I show you? Uh, platinum is catching a bid like I liked, and uh, my, my trade on the uh, PPLT is going really well. Uh, 1,118.09 for a Platinum Eagle, high premium Platinum Eagle, because they aren't making any more. But if you want to pick up a Noble, 1,007.50 with Platinum at $915. So, um... <clears throat> A uh, substantial premium on platinum. It's you kind of lose money getting in and getting out of platinum, um, in, unless you're doing collector platinum. So uh, that's why I like to buy the ETF when I buy platinum. Okay, what are the deals? Bullion Exchanges has got Silver Eagles at twenty nine point seventy nine. They also have one at spot, and if you want to buy twenty, you can get twenty over at Pinehurst. For twenty nine forty three, let's just. Uh, I think anything you buy today, you probably ought to get on eBay because I don't want to pay these higher prices. So uh, if we get so uh, that was uh, as I said, uh, your best price twenty nine forty three. Let's just see if we can beat twenty nine forty three on eBay because um, you know I just these higher prices are hard to pay, aren't they? All right, we're on eBay, and where is eBay? I lost it. Hold on. There we go. Okay, best quantity of 20 Silver Eagles. Uh, so we're trying to beat 2949. I think the number was uh, 595.80 divided by 20 equals that. And you can get your 3% off on PayPal times 0.97 if you have the PayPal credit card or more if you use uh, other cards and tricks. So you'd be at 28.89. That's about the only way I'd be buying Eagles today. If you don't have one of those good credit cards, then uh, you ought to pick one of those up, guys, and save yourself the money. Okay, I'm just going to go back. So, uh, yeah, I'd be shopping on eBay today if I was doing anything. All right, I'm going through the gold. Uh, let's just check out what the maples are going for. Uh, we've got Monument Metals, 28.02 Monument Metals. That's a good price. And a similar pricing on the Britannias, the Ruse, the Krugerrands. The Phils would be the cheapest, I think, at 28.25. No, was that more than the Maple? Uh, was maple 28.02? Yeah, this Maple deal really cannot be beat for plain vanilla dealer uh, sovereign top tier bullion. So if you do need to buy, you could check that out or find it cheaper on eBay. I won't go through all of these. Uh, we still have um, these uh, sovereign coins in the mid 27s now. Uh, nothing on Costco shaken that I can see. No changes really on uh, on the junk silver, except it's more expensive, 196.84. If you saw my alerts yesterday to um, both Vermilion and uh, Minot Coin, they had sales. I think they had some sales on junk. Um, maybe not. I think it was actually more like silver, uh, generic silver. Um, but uh, they had some stuff for, uh, you know, like a dollar over spot. So uh, good deals at YouTube yesterday. They take those videos down uh, after they have their, their um, specials. Um, so you, you have to get on those quickly and subscribe to both those channels if you want to catch the next deal. 
when they come up, I will alert you. If you haven't met me yet, I'm Louie. I run a website called bestsilvergolddeals.com, which I am looking at right now. It's updated every day by 6 a.m. Pacific to the best deals that I can find among all the bullion dealers. And if you subscribe to the over 300 people that are there, I'll send alerts and uh, you can possibly pick up a better deal before you just pay regular pricing. I still like the Sunshine Mint Bar, 270.70 over at JM Bullion. This is a new entrant. Uh, this is a 272.20 for the JBR bar with the hieroglyphics on the back. Not a bad deal on a 10 ounce bar there. And uh, you can use my discount code if you want to pick up um, a 10 ounce silver uh, generic silver bars at bullion.com uh, 273 for 10 ounce bars over at bullion.com ten dollar discount code for you there if you spend a thousand dollars Engelhards are over 300 bucks and uh, all the poured silver is over 28 an ounce uh, let's see where else will I take you okay anything else on eBay okay if you have got to buy and you have got to buy today and you don't want to pay those high prices then you need to you need to look at uh, the kilos on eBay um, you can pick up a kilo for 850 bucks and th then use year two three three point three three four percent five percent uh, you know there if you the better the deal you have through your credit cards um, the cheaper this is going to get. You can get these at spot after rebates, maybe under if you have uh, used some of the better deals. Um, so check out kilos on eBay. If you think silver is going to keep going up here, all right, I'm still uh, got to be caution uh, here on silver and gold. Obviously, gold uh, did not uh, hit my 2100 target. It, it uh, hit the floor of 2150 and took off like a rocket. I think we are squarely in the 22s. And I don't see what's going to derail that at the moment. I think gold and silver are going to continue their move. And I think move, uh, silver will move into the 26s here, but it hasn't yet, so I'm still not getting excited about that. 25s is a very f fair price for uh, silver, whether you're buying or selling. And we'll see if we can get a spike on, uh, on silver up into the 26s or even the 28s. Uh, could bust through 30. I mean, for all I know, this is a very positive uh, move right now. You can pick up that uh, Platinum Eagle at 1,151. Uh, take about 30 bucks off that if you have a good credit card deal or more. All right, and you can get gold cheaper. We all know that. Uh, nothing shaken in the commemorative category. 553.95 on eBay. Use your credit card. Uh, let's see. And uh, what's up with poured silver? Are they raising the prices? Yeah, about 300 bucks is the cheapest you're going to get any poured silver um, on eBay. Use your credit card discount, but uh, hard to pay 30 bucks an ounce, isn't it? Uh, yeah, hard to pay that unless you really need silver right now. Okay, here's the eBay credit card. That's a good one. Uh, Rakuten right now is working for precious metals. It's a 1% um, extra kicker um, for uh, on eBay at the moment. Hopefully that will increase and you can combine that with other credit cards when you shop on uh, eBay. Uh, let's see, and this is another way to get silver at about spot. Uh, 2562 for this 100 ounce uh, Germania bar. Um, that's that's a rocking deal if you want to go big and uh, wait for FOMO to return. I still like this fractional gold deal, um, 25 one gram bars. Still like the vintage Degusa Kilo um, and the uh, Libertads are still there. I guess the collector market is not what it used to be, huh? Okay, we've still got the Morgans at about 33 an ounce, the BU pre-33 Morgans. And uh, is the Germania bar over 30 bucks? Uh, no, 29.59. Those are nice little bars, but uh, you may not want to pay that. Okay, in the silver round category, we have got bullion.com. Did I already show you this? 27.40 on silver rounds over at bullion.com. Use the discount code. New customer deals. Uh, the Mustang is under 27, isn't it? No, 27.34 per ounce for the Mustang. 
Um, and uh, I still like the Cowboy now, 27.36, I think, per ounce. It's a good, that's another good alternative if you're trying to buy today. Um, but, uh, you know, the Eagles through eBay would be the smartest uh probably deal the premiums are starting to expand and though they're only at you know four bucks right now four fifty five bucks right now um you're going to see those expand rapidly all right if you're making a choice between sovereign and generic um and if we are heading into fomo and higher highs for silver you're gonna watch the premiums explode on silver eagles and probably maples as well that's why people buy them it is like leverage on your silver and uh, you'll be able to sell those at a much higher price down the road if silver moves okay and silver looks like it's wanting to move perhaps into the 26s now here's the two uh, youtube dealers that uh, were having smoking deals yesterday check those out you know my sponsor newretirement.com check out the free trial you're gonna love that tool and gixon if you're gonna place a want to snipe an ebay deal Okay, we got the spot deals and uh, the Walmart credit card, 5% cash back, guys, and they have precious metals on Walmart. Here's the Quicksilver card. Uh, right now, the Kicker eBay deal is only 2%, so you'd be at 1.5 plus 2 would put you at 3.5% um, if you want to use that Quicksilver card. And uh, what are they paying for Eagles? I don't know. Let's see what they're paying. When they start paying more, you'll know this move is real. Uh, they're paying uh, twenty-seven thirty for Eagles on a spot price of twenty-five oh seven. That looks like that buyback premium came up a little bit. Uh, might be a little bit higher. Okay, so uh, that is encouraging. Let's go back to spot price and see what's going on. Uh, down fifteen cents, and now what is it? Ooh, look at that old car. That's cool. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, we have gold up 1850 at 2,205. I think it's going to hold that 2,000 handle. And silver down 22. We're getting a knockdown there on silver. But uh, I've noticed that the SLV, which is the uh, ETF for silver, not real silver. Uh, let's see if we can get a real-time SLV quote. Uh, oh, God. Um, let's see. Can we get a real-time SLV quote? Uh, down nine cents. So we've got spot uh, down uh, 20 cents, whatever I just said, 22. But SLV is not cooperating. Um, so a little divergence there between spot and uh, the ETF and also a divergence uh, in futures. So, uh, you know, they're probably going to take a run at silver today. They could, they could try to knock it back, uh, back down to 25. But uh, I think 25 is going to hold now and we'll be, we'll be exploring 26, maybe pushing over 26. And if it gets over 26, it could run, it could run a little bit. Um, all depends if we uh, continue to have a lower 10-year yield. If uh, the 10-year uh, yield pushing up a little bit right here. So uh, yeah, if the 10-year yield stays uh, low and dropping and the dollar continues uh, to drop, pretty big drop there. I don't know if we'll see a reversal. We could see silver exploring 2627, which is good for all you old time stackers and not good for you new stackers. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you're doing, what you're buying. Oh, and uh, do check out the, um, the chat room over on the website. We're having a lot of fun over there and people were really excited yesterday. Um, man, that was a great move. Um, so uh, that's what's happening. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye now.